I mean, at some point, it's just like it's not even practical because like you try to have sex if your dick's like three feet long, you're only only like two percent of your dick's being, you know, your nerve endings. Most of your nerve endings are being ignored. Yeah, it was a close call. No, nobody, nobody was traumatized by the, Damn, the sight, dude. but. Good thing a Roomba wasn't nearby. I just sucked him right up, dude. We need to get you a, a, a hoodie that says, not a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> Which is an immediate red flag if you have to, <laughs> if you feel like you have to advertise that to the world. Yes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not making the case that you should use your semen to calm down angry women. <laughs> You've been fucking with me, dude. You've been fucking with me. On the last episode, you you clapped like a couple times after I clapped. So when I so when I synced it, it was like all fucked up, and I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck's going on?" Uh, you noticed that, huh? Yeah, dude. I was just it took was, me a minute. I was like, "Oh man, Kyle's Kyle's clap game is weak today. I'm gonna give him some supplemental claps." Yeah, you weren't even trying to fuck with me, but it ended up just trolling the hell out of me for like two minutes. I was like, "Oh no, oh no, this pod's not no good." Uh, like, yeah, oh, it's just because Ian clapped. I've been, five seconds after I clapped. I've been on a trolling streak lately. You have, yeah. Whether intentional or not, you just you just can't help yourself. Uh, it's 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 almost a it's an ability you have. I think I think it's it's comes down to genetics, man. My my. Uh, yeah, your family is a big troll, big troll family. Uh, I I think it was I had a great uncle who was like a notorious troll. He would like leave like plastic dog poop in places and <laughs> and just laugh uproariously over it that is definitely an uncle thing yeah that's peak uncle behavior <laughs> but i think i think i got a little trolling in my blood that's good not the not the malicious kind but uh just the yeah i just fuck with you a little bit and then right. and then you know if it's if it's actually fucking with you i'll i'll be like hey you know um, I was just fucking with you. Like, no, that's when it becomes hilarious. Yeah. That's when it's really funny. When people are legitimately upset. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's not usually my goal. Yeah, right. You but just, sometimes it just goes that way. You like to poke. You like to poke. You don't like I to, do. I do. You don't like to fist. I, <laughs> it's a big difference in trolling levels. Exactly. Exactly. The fist is the fist is reserved for, uh, I don't know, more and more... Malice inclined folks than I. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, poking is your default mode. Mm -hmm. Which, as, as someone who lives with me part part of, part of the week, I'm thankful for that. Keeps you on your toes. Does just enough. And and I I come from a family where like like just poking poking people like you know giving them a hard time was kind of a way of showing affection. Yeah, right. Um, you only troll the ones you love. Pretty much. But then sometimes you don't. Sometimes I I troll randomly. Like, right. I, I right. like I one of one of my favorite things when when I'm in a mood is just leaving things it like leaving things in weird places. Yeah. So that someday future person will find it and be like, What, what is the this? hell? And why is this here? Like, what is the story with this? <laughs> yeah, right. Putting an egg like underneath a bathroom sink or something. I the the ultimate was one that I discussed previously that was actually on me, which was a fluorescent light tube. Oh wait, y yeah, you shared that this had one, yeah. that had a, a McDonald's sugar packet inside of it. <laughs> it's crazy. And I and and I was like, that is the ultimate. Like, I would totally do that in a second if I worked <laughs> yeah. in a in a place that manufactured like fluorescent light tubes. The wild thing is that somebody had to crack it open to find it. Yeah, like there, yeah, there was it was a very it was, astronomical chance that someone would ever even find it. Right? It was it was burnt out, and I was throwing it away, and I was just like, "I want to do a lightsaber thing," you know, like how, <laughs> yeah, how guys right. do. Yeah. Um, and I I didn't like just destroy it and shatter it. I just cracked one end of it on accident, right. and I was like, "What the hell is there's there's a there's a sugar packet in this light bulb, dude? What what other what other gems are hiding in fluorescent tubes right now from I, that guy?" I what else has he know. hidden across across the country? It makes me wonder. And yeah. that's the thing. That's what Little I like girl. about that style of kind of trolling is when you when you just leave a, a mysterious time bomb, yeah. it's not gonna hurt anybody. It's not gonna cause like any harm. It's right. just gonna confuse the hell out of somebody. And yeah. I just love 
knowing that that's out there. It's kind of nice. waiting to be found. It's kind of like how you how you become immortal. You know, like you you only die once the last tube that you filled is broken. <laughs> yes, or. They they finally find the last dick butt that you put in <laughs> some random place at work and yeah. remove it. <laughs> oh, dick butt! That was a classic. Yes. Would you just uh, would you just draw him? Would you draw? No, him? it was actually it was actually somebody who worked there before me, who put dick butts all over the place. Yeah. In fact, somehow, <laughs> uh, on a on a, a web page like an internal web page for the company. They managed to put a dick butt in in the web the web page HTML code. Oh just, wow! Just like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't display just, anywhere, but it's right in, in there. the code. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the code on like a web browser, you'll just see dick butt. Yes, that's so cool. But better that's, yet, that's legit. it's not it's not just random ASCII characters. It's actually the the Navy Seal copy pasta ah. turned into a dick butt. Ah, that's sick. And I was like, I was like, wow, that's been there for, for close to a decade. <laughs> and yeah, that's, Man, you, that's you should, an impressive feat. You should one up that, uh, that, that fluorescent tube guy and like put a McDonald's ketchup packet in like your, like sew one into your foot or something like that. So like the day that they're doing like an autopsy, they're like, how the hell? Okay. You know what I mean, that'd be, that'd be a pretty good one. That reminds me of this crazy story. There was this doctor, I believe he was a doctor. And he was a sexual assaulter. Okay. And he actually got uh, a tube of somebody else's blood and surgically implanted it in his arm. Oh, wow. And he added uh, an anticoagulant so that the blood wouldn't clot up. Okay. And he surgically implanted it in his arm so that, you know, when they take blood, they go and take blood out of out of these veins here so he he was suspected of sexual assault and they did a dna test by taking for 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 some reason instead of just a cheek swab um they took a blood sample from him and he was able on multiple occasions to get the 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 person doing the blood draw to take blood out of that vial that's insane so they weren't taking his blood they were taking somebody else's blood so the dna didn't match this is a real story yes that's evil genius shit. It really is. That is wow. And eventually, just let him go. At that point, he deserves it. <laughs> I, I mean, Dude, that's a sick idea. It's a lot of effort, but he he was kind of a rapist, so ah, kind of hard to let that slide. <laughs> man, it's like the rapist you'd want to talk to most. <laughs> you know, like, like, all right, you're definitely guilty, but you want to get coffee sometime? I mean, if we're we'll talking about the rapist you want to talk to most i would probably choose jeffrey epstein Ooh, just because he has list. he has so much of the juicy deeds but yeah unfortunately all those died along with him so conveniently yeah that list is never surfacing dude there's too oh, much power yeah. behind it and there's all the all power. the computers at his uh his secret super pedo island yeah were mysteriously disappeared Went and wiped and smoke. And, yeah yeah what about the uh what do you think is gonna happen with uh with the diddler? Uh which one? There's so many. With the Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> that, the Diddler. The, the OG P, Diddler. The OG P Diddler. Uh I have no idea. I don't know exactly what uh hijinks he got up to. Yeah. Um it seems like a little bit of a Kevin Spacey sort of vibe. Yeah, definitely a bit of that. Also, there's some Epstein notes thrown in there. Oh, fun. Some underage action. I haven't really been paying too much attention to it. I've only caught bits and pieces of it, but I mean, like the allegations are obviously super damning. It's it's he's notorious for throwing these allegedly wild sex parties where there's underage people, both girls and boys. Oh. And he apparently Ick. is all alleged has like uh, secret cameras in all of his rooms, like hidden cameras. Hmm. So he's got, you know, high profile, A-list celebrities, politicians. And he's got got close-up pictures of their booty holes because there's yep. a toilet and a camera. Yep, with like underage people in the room or whatever. So it's like, it's kind of Epstein all over again in a way. Hmm. People are like, 
All right. But how without, long before he hangs but himself? But without the connections to like really powerful political and and financial figures. Uh, they they did or, mention or, or is that a thing? They did mention that's a factor. I think Prince Harry was mentioned in the uh, the lawsuit. Ooh, okay, that's a fun that's a fun tie in. So once you got some royal blood in there, I think that kind of elevates things. Royal blood and other royal blood and royal <laughs> semen. <laughs> Way to keep keep it classy. <laughs> A little on the nose, I'll, I'll admit. But uh, but yeah, dude, he's if he gets locked up, I mean, I think he's he's going down like Epstein. He's gonna mysteriously hang himself. You think you think there's a lot of parties who uh, can't afford to let him live, huh? I think there's a lot of parties who have enough money to unalive him if necessary. Unalive is now a thing, and I kind of hate it. <laughs> I I am. Uh, dating a gen z person so occasionally oh, yeah. occasionally these things slip out and i i forget how douchey it sounds it's like i'm like reverting back to like high school when we would just say like random words yeah. that didn't exist that didn't make sense it's funny how when you spend time with a person like you start to you start to exchange vocabularies a little bit like yeah. you rub off on each other yeah um, yeah, so she's starting to talk like a normal person now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sound like a dumbass. Even well, more than I usually that's do. That's the price you pay. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. uplift uh that's to right. uplift the, the, the Gen Z. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of taking one for the team, you know. I, I think it's I think it's a mutually beneficial uh relationship. Yeah, no, I can't I can't complain. <laughs> she, she keeps me young. <laughs> young and dumb. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for this. She's gonna kill me when she. Oh yeah, this. I no, love it. it's it's you're div- you're just digging a deeper hole. Oh, dude, Every the, sentence, like, is great. It was like last week. She's like, yeah, I was like listening to the pod, and there was like, because she, she just listens to it in her car when she's yeah. driving. She just she, she just listens, and she was like, yeah, there there's there was a time when I had to like turn it off because I was so I was so upset. I was so mad, and I was like, what were you talking? She was like, yeah, you guys were like talking talking about like feminists. Cause she's like very feminist. Yeah. And she's like talking about you guys were just the things you were saying. It's just like, it upset me so much to the point where I was like, I have, I have to turn this off. I have to stop listening to this now. Mm. And I was like, well, you probably shouldn't listen to this week's episode. <laughs> I usually try to avoid, uh, ragging on any particular group. That's, uh, known for trying to ruin people's lives when they're offended. Known for chopping dicks off of people and, well, that's I like every group now, almost. Yeah, it's practically every. I mean, cancel. You can get canceled by any group, anytime. Yeah, and I would prefer not to, but I guess it's just a matter of of uh, when, not if. Like prostate cancer. <laughs> you you cancel live. Cancel culture is a cancer. Uh, I didn't. I didn't intentionally connect the two like that, but you know what? That's I, a good. That's a good analogy. They should just call it cancer culture at this point cancer culture dude i was i was just referring to the fact that if you live long enough yeah as a, as a person who has a prostate you'll just get prostate cancer uh, yeah basically before unless something else kills you first yeah exactly so if you right. if you live to be 70 80 90 it's just like well that's gonna happen so your prostate is just a hard drive it's just it's just a matter <laughs> like the fail rate is 100 percent. it's just a matter of when it only goes through so many service cycles right before <laughs> before it stops spinning dude yeah well <laughs> Well, it's, it starts spinning the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, yeah. there is evidence to show that uh, regularly flushing the plumbing is actually good for uh, reducing your risk factors for prostate cancer. I I, I, uh, I actually like screenshotted that article and sent it to Mel. <laughs> I was like, look, look, you want the me to- science. The science supports me. Yeah. You know, science says that if you want, if you care about my life, <laughs> we have to do the deed. Oh, I mean, as you often can, you as can, possible. Can, you can go further with that. I don't. I don't. I don't think that that's the right place to go here and now. <laughs> but there are other. There are other aspects of scientific evidence that you could. You, you could. We'll talk about it later. But you can leverage them. Oh no! I need to hear about those. Yeah, you can tell me about them later if you don't want to tell, tell me now. <laughs> well, uh, we can always. We can always. The, cut the, past the this. bros. The bros listening might might want to hear those trade secrets. All right. So uh, my my knowledge on this is a little bit. A little bit dated and uh, and spotty, but the studies are out there. Uh, if you go looking for them, you should find them. Uh, studies that support, if I recall correctly, the uh, the evidence that there are, uh, especially for um, I, it's either uh, 
pregnant or menstruating women. Okay. I think it's pregnant. I don't want to say pregnant women. I forget. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, ingesting ingesting semen uh, actually is is beneficial to their health because of the the. I don't think it's the hormones. I think it's like the growth factors. Yeah. Um, that are in it actually help with. Uh, like I want to say, and, and again, this is, this is very, I'm being intentionally vague cause I can't remember the specifics. I just, yeah, I don't want to bother pulling up a study. We right don't now. need the specifics. We just, but reducing, reducing like, <laughs> like morning sickness or menstrual cramps or something. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> so she's just, just like, babe, why'd you jizz in my mouth? It's like, just to help you out. It's, You're good. it's good for you. Take your vitamins. I saw that you were having a rough day. So I jizzed in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not the type to casually do that, but you do you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not sure if it's if they're pregnant or if they're on their period. I really, I really wish I could. But they're I, angry, either way. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not making the case that you should use your semen to calm down angry women. That is not where I was trying to, to go. Tell with this. a woman to calm down while you're jizzing on. No, I was trying to say it's it's a interesting. It's worth death. noting that there are some some some. Uh, health benefits associated with ingesting. Uh, yeah, that, right. Yeah, how substance. you how you approach that is uh, well, you do that at your own risk. We we don't offer <laughs> professional or legal advice for any of that. I think that's We're good disclaimer to apply uh, retro- yeah. retroactively. Yeah, uh, because that's definitely a thing that's <laughs> effective. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, but also going forward, anything uh, any anything statements made on this podcast. May or may not be factually correct. Uh, that is the, the factual factual veracity is not guaranteed. Mm. Um, Consult your attorneys. I, I actually this is this is something that I used to say to people a lot. Bend over. Um, no, but that would have been fun. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what I would say is, blah 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 blah. Here's something that I'm telling you as you know something I believe to be truth, um, but don't take my word for it. Yeah. Look it up. Right. And you know what the reaction that I got was? What's that? Almost every time. Uh, this was in this was in the setting of I was tr- selling something. You know, I was I was selling something and explaining the benefits. Yeah. And and then I would actually, it was like a closer line for me. It was like, I think this is really cool. It it, it has all these potential benefits. Blah 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 blah. But don't t- take my word for it. Look it up. Yeah. And most of the time, they would just go. Nah, I don't trust. I I, I don't. I, I trust you. I, right. I'll, I'll I'll just take it. Or yeah. even just, I I don't have time to do that. I'll take it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because you're you're by even saying like, look it up. It's almost like it. it, it you come across as way more transparent. It, it's it's actually the thing that it's I like love about psychology. That, the thing I loved about that is I was entirely genuine when I said that. Right. Of course. I really do want. I I I, I was working in retail. And I really did want people to take the time to look these things up, not just take my word for it, right. learn about it for themselves. Um, and because that's a really good investment of 15 minutes, 30 minutes to learn about something that can be impactful to your health. Yeah, right. Um, and the consistent reaction was, even though, even though I really did tell them, like, yeah, don't take my word for it, look it up, they would just go, most of the time, I'll take it. Yeah. And sometimes when I actually was really happy, sometimes they'd be like, you know what? They'd look it up on their phone um, and then, you know, just take 10 minutes to look it up. And then I'd right. come back and check in with them and be like, yeah, you know what? I really liked, uh, you know, what I, re- what I researched on it. Yeah. And uh, I'll get it. I think there's like, it, it's one of those things where it's like people can generally tell in I think in those types types of scenarios more so if someone's being genuine or not mm-hmm. like you can tell and, and and also it's very obvious when someone's like desperate to get a sale mm. and that pushes people back a lot because then they feel like they're being suckered into something I got and and my attitude got read that way sometimes oh, okay I thought, thought you were I, desperate yeah like they were just like super super wary of me just trying to sell like you're just trying to well, sell yeah, because me most stuff. of the time people are 
that like yeah so false, even false positives, positives are gonna yeah. happen yeah i mean most most people who are trying to sell something that are like working based on commission alone or something like that they are desperate it's like they got to pay their bills and like they are yeah. trying to sell you on at, at any cost or whatever so when you're just drilled with that constantly even like an honest businessman comes along and you're like you're you're sketched out you know what i mean like this pot's burnt me before mm-hmm. i'm gonna be on guard but i remember like when i was uh we were, when we were in high school, I, I ran for senior class secretary our senior year as yeah. a joke. I think I lost a bet to Deutsch. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we had to make a video and that got circulated across the whole class, all the classes, the whole grade. And uh, I, I just walked in. I was wearing like a hoodie like this and I had my hood on too. And everyone had like, had, had their like speeches prepared. They had like skits that they did on camera. I just like sat down and I was like, I'm running for senior class secretary uh, I, I'm, I'm really just here cause I lost a bet and I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you vote for me or not. I really don't. I just, I have to do this cause I'm a man of my word. And then I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won. I was senior. Yeah. Like they called me my name in the quad and senior class secretary, Kyle Hatz. And I was like, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, now I have to be a part of this. Wow. Which ended up being okay. I mean, I got kicked out of it like a few months later from doing some stupid shit but you know it was it, i think it just it, it was a learning experience because i was like oh like if you don't try as hard sometimes that somehow works out for you yes like because you have it's almost like all, all your cards are on the table people don't feel like they're being slided by you if somebody if somebody was running for president and it was simply because they lost a bet i would vote for them yeah <laughs> yeah for sure at this point i would vote for them <laughs> yeah without a second thought yeah I mean, and, and, you know, damn the torpedoes. I, I, I will take there's Actually, a guy changed his name to uh, anything. It was, his name is now legally anybody else. First name, last name, legally or uh, uh, literally. <laughs> so on a ballot. Yeah. If he gets on a ballot, he'll show up as That's awesome. Literally anybody else. <laughs> That is so genius. Did he have any intention of running for anything, or was I, it just I, a big? Joke? I don't know. I think I think he might he might try to get like write in votes, or I I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what his plan is, but I just thought that 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 he changed his name legally to that. Yeah, it was pretty baller. If he's not actually trying to run for anything, that's the sickest power move I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the sickest thing anyone's ever done. That is so cool. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah it's it's sort uh, of like the. The political equivalent of naming your restaurant, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Hey, babe, where you, uh, where you want to go to dinner? I don't care. <laughs> All right. All right. Get in the car. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's like, there, the, but there has to be, see, sometimes people use that as a cloak though, right? Like True. They, they, they act like they don't care. They really want it, but they got to like play it cool. Mm-hmm. And that's like their facade. Okay. I can, I can see how that, that could be. That could be utilized. But again, when people people can tell, generally speaking, especially if you're like on camera or something like that or doing a sales pitch, if you're being genuine or if, you know, something seems off about this guy. We're pretty we're pretty quick to, to catch up on catch on those little things. I mean, speak for yourself, man. I'm kind of a dummy. Nah. Like I'm terrible at reading people. I you can you can scam me all day. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, I, I am very gullible. I, I would say I have a pretty good gauge on if people are being genuine or if they're just trying to use me or something like that. But no, no maybe I'm be- I think I'm better at it than I than I really am. I'm pretty gullible. I'm 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 maybe less gullible than I am altruistic. OK, we're just a, a lethal mix of both. Yeah, right. Like I want to believe that people are good. Yeah. And I. I like to do good by people if I can. It's like the one of the downsides of being like generally like optimistic mm-hmm. or hopeful, and just be like, yeah, not everyone's a piece of shit. Yeah, and I'll then, give I'll give this this kind of sketchy person a chance because, like, if I just judge them, you know, based off of their their appearance, then I'm kind of an asshole. Right. Yeah. But then and it then turns sometimes out they were exactly what they seem to be. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you get <laughs> proven wrong, and you're like, damn it. Yeah. I shouldn't have trusted that guy with the tear tattoos on his face. Uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't trust <laughs> most people with those tattoos. 
unless uh. unless they're just like uh, posers who just get those to look hard or whatever. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's for each of his grandparents. It's, it's interesting because those those teardrop tattoos have wildly different meanings in different places. They're mm, they're yeah. pretty uh, ubiquitous across uh, institutions around the world. So some of them are nice. They're like you some, know, yeah. Some my, of them like some of them are like like uh, the girls you bang. F- you know, each one is for a loved one that you lost. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but some of them are for you know your body count like how many people you killed or some of them are marking you as a kitty diddler <laughs> um, so it really depends like where right. in the world you are or probably even where in a country you are right yeah what that means in ireland it's probably like how many shots you've taken that night <laughs> <laughs> so freckles <laughs> at some point they're just blackface you know? <laughs> oh man <laughs> Uh, leaning into stereotypes is fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. Uh, uh, the the Irish, you know what? The, uh, redheads, redheads, kind of. You know, South. <laughs> one thing that I that I have uh, uh, long appreciated about South Park is that nobody is nobody is above comedy. Exactly. Nobody, nobody no is safe. Yeah, no from safe. from being yeah. mocked. Right. But South Park did have a little bit of like. Uh, a negative blowback from their uh, episode about gingers <laughs> because, because of all the groups, they're the most depressed. As I, as I understand it, uh, there was, there, there was, it kind of sparked like this, this anti, anti ginger movement. <laughs> like, like people, yeah, people just true. thought it was trendy to like hate on, hate on people with red hair. I think it's probably because it was never, you know, it historically it hasn't been like, a problem. So everyone thought, oh, I can get away with it. I can get away with oppressing gingers because it's it's like I'm not gonna get called racist. You know what I mean? It I think it got yeah, I think it got seen as like, oh, hey, this is uh this is a free target. Like, you know, they don't have they don't have any, you know, cards to play to counter my my God, dude. I just cannot get over how every time I see your socks they have holes in them. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> There is a little hole in this one. I think this one's okay. Oh, before I say that. This one's actually all right. This one's good. Clean. One out of two ain't bad. That's all a right. small hole, too. The, the toe's not even sticking out yet. It's just the <laughs> the, the bottom. That's the standard by which you that judge That is the it. standard, yeah. Because it's, it's still comfortable <laughs> until it until it peaks through, until it fully rears its head. Until okay. one of my toes rears its head, okay. it's, it's, a, it's an intact sock. Do you, do you treat your underwear the same way? We go easy on socks. Uh, yes. Until, until, until my dick's hanging out. Until, <laughs> <laughs> until it feels like I'm going commando. <laughs> Dude. They stay employed. Okay. Yeah, I spent a lot of time working in retail. Uh, one of the places that I that I worked was um, a supplement store. Yeah. And, you know, for all your vitamins and goodies and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and I was living in Arizona at the time. Uh, I did not have a car, so I have a bike to work and I had, I would get there and a little bit early and just like go and dry off. Cause like, Oh, cause you were sweating, sweating, sweating it up. Um, but clean sweat, you know, cause I shower first. Sure. And then I had a locker, so I'd have some work clothes hanging in there and just change into those and start my shift. Yeah. And, um, Eventually, those clothes started to wear out to the point where uh, one of the pants, uh, I blew the crotch out. I just, like, like the grundle zone. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, totally ripped. Right. And I was like, You're packing, well, dude. You must be packing hard. <laughs> no, I... Cheers the, to that. The, I have thunder thighs, mm. and so, you know, that, that natural friction sort of wears out the material over you time. You know what they say about guys with thunder, th- thunder thighs? I don't... The, the thunder dick. <laughs> I thought it was going to go something with, with buys, but okay, sure. I'll take it. Uh, and I, I, it wasn't a big deal because it's like, you know, that, that area doesn't really show. Yeah. Um, except at that job, I would crouch down pr- pretty often to like grab things off of lower shelves for, for people. Um, even that it wasn't really an issue. One day though, uh, for whatever reason, maybe I hadn't done my laundry or something. I was commando. 
and I wore I put on those pants. That's real ballsy. I in many, more I ways than one. I didn't dude. even think about it. I was just in a hurry. And I threw them on. And I got got about the rip. Yeah, and I crouched down to grab something, and I felt a really cold sensation on my balls. Were your balls on the floor? <laughs> Were you teabagging the tile floor? I may have made contact. I don't know. <laughs> it was the air, the air conditioning was pretty chilly, so it might have been just like. <laughs> A cold breeze hit him or something, but I immediately realized what was happening and I stood up and the rest of my shift, I did not crouch down. I, I would carefully bend over and grab oh, the And then why uh, did you just change into your other pants? Uh, they were shorts and I couldn't wear them. Oh my God. So you'd rather just risk showing your dick to the customers? Um, well, I, I that's crazy. I, yeah, it's I like, guess. It's, boss, it's either. My calves or my dick? <laughs> Which one are we exposing to this old lady that's asking about vitamin C? Yes. So after that that's shift crazy. was over, I I ripped those pants up so I would not make any mistakes in using them again, and yeah. I made sure to uh, to replace them, and that did not happen. It had yet. to have been like a you just caught like a cold like a, a draft or something because yeah. if, if they had really if your balls had really hit the tile or the floor, then wouldn't your dick you you would have felt it on your dick too? Your dick would have hit it too. Well, it wasn't that big of a hole. Oh, I see. So it could have just been it would, for the it would It would have been like if something was going to gotcha. fit through it, it would have just been the scrotum. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, you were just... You just were bagging. Just, just truck nutting. <laughs> yeah. Straight up truck nuts. Yeah, it was a close call. No, uh, Nobody nobody was traumatized by the, Damn, the site, dude. but... Good thing a Roomba wasn't nearby. I just sucked <laughs> them right up, dude. <laughs> to fish those things out. Yeah, dude. No, that, that place was wild. It was wild. Wow. There was, uh, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever like accidentally like flashed someone in public. I have gotten, have you ever gotten walked in on in a, like a public restroom? I haven't been walked in on like, that's a like, secondhand embarrassment's too great. I've been in a stall and like, you know, the crappy little latches. Yeah. Like they can just, they give out. Yeah. And, and just somebody, somebody's opening the door and I'm just like, you just push it nope. back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you got to make a but, noise too. You got to be like <laughs> occupied. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> uh, you got one ready. But I did walk in on somebody once, and it was very uncomfortable. Okay, Which uh, guy, another guy. No, it was it was a uh, female coworker. Oh, that's a double whammy. Yeah, that's a double whammy right there. I had just moved. I just started working at a new location. Tell me, it wasn't your fault. It was not my fault. Okay. The door, the door lock, <laughs> the the bathroom door lock was broken. Okay, to where like you had to press on it and manipulate the handle to a certain degree to get it to lock correctly. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't know it was like right. like one of the first times I had used the bathroom. Yeah, and there were two bathrooms, so I had usually I used the other one most times. So I just go busting in there. <laughs> Open the Whoa. door. Busting in there. And because I was, I was I'm a man on a mission, you know? <laughs> I got things to do. And so I opened the door, just like, boom. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Did, I hope you didn't leave it open that long. No, I just like <laughs> opened it, realized, and immediately closed it. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> and you, that was. You open it, you're like, oh, no. <laughs> it was like the slowest close. Ever. That is not me. You're, you're no. peeking around the door. I really, really was unhappy with that. Oh I, I immediately God. went and I was like, oh my I need God. to make a ticket to get the door lock fixed. <laughs> what did she, did she do anything? Did she say anything? She had to have made uh, a noise was, or something. It was, she yeah, screamed? she was, no, she was just like, uh. <laughs> something along those lines. And I, I, I pretty much did the same thing, more or less. Yeah, you both scared each other. I was just like, nope. That's terrifying, though. I'd much rather walk in on a guy. Yeah, than a girl. especially because That's, I was, let alone I was one I work like with. her supervisor. Oh God. So there's just multiple layers of oh, bad, bad geez, feeling. Yeah, yeah, no. And the, yeah, I feel. Fortunately, like I, there were no repeat incidents. If that was today, I, I'd fear for my job. Right, right. Like even though you're faultless, I mean, just just if they had a slight 
you know, grudge against you. They they could turn it they into could a thing. End you right then and there. Yeah. That was and that was like instantly. That was like a thing. Like it, I I felt like she might be the kind of person to like hold that in her back pocket. Oh God. So it was just a little bit strained to, yeah, to work right. with them. Yeah, that sucks. And that sucks if she just starts like, you know, being a shitty employee and you're like, I can't I really want to fire this girl, but I can't. Yeah. I feel like I can't. Yeah. She's, so she's I guess that. I guess the way Talking I guess the way to shield. counter that would yeah. just be if I had immediately just called HR and told them, hey, this happened and I just wanted to to right. Get bring it, it to it. your attention. <laughs> it, I don't think it I don't think it's causing, you know, any serious problems, but I just wanted on record that this happened. Yeah, right. It was an accident. Right, right. And here is here is proof in that I made a a ticket to get the door fixed the yeah. same day. <laughs> so that probably would have mostly immunized me from any kind of sure bad stuff. But I, I didn't think like that today. You would today. You would be like, I, that's me. That's exactly what I have to do. Yeah. To secure the safety of my job. Absolutely. I would, uh, oh, unfortunately man. that's wild. Yeah. And that would, that would go for anybody like, especially like, yeah, male or female if they if they worked with me or under me and that happened i would just be like right low hr this thing happened uh yeah just wanted to make sure you got a heads up and you heard about it immediately yeah happened three minutes ago yeah (laughs) god have you ever walked have been walking on the street at night and like had uh like it's late and there's like uh, a woman walking and she like crosses the street to avoid you or like you're walking I've behind her and she speeds up i've definitely gotten that 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 before yeah yeah for sure i i i was i think i read somebody talking about that and they're just like yeah i'm a uh, chaotic good so i just <laughs> yell at them I'm going to run past you. And then they just, <laughs> they just like narrow to run, narrow to run. That probably them. freaks them out way more. Right. They're like, this is an insane person and I'm about to get raped. That's probably like exactly what they think. Just yeah. to shout randomly at a woman at night or something. If she's alone is crazy. Yeah. Never shout. Never just shout <laughs> anything at a woman at night. If she's alone, that's crazy. If you're drunk with and you're with a group and she's with a group, shout all you whatever. Yeah, but if it's in that scenario, because that's all she's hearing is ah! yeah, exactly. She's not making sense of what you're saying, what you're yeah, trying to I do. I was like, that's, that's probably not a good strategy. Idea. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, I've definitely, I've definitely seen that's happened to me for sure. I can't remember exact moments, but um, but I, I think it's funny because I'm just like I'm five seven. Like what most girls can probably beat me up. Like I'm not going to do anything. And I just don't look like the type. Well, maybe I do look like the type. Maybe they just see me like do we need to get you a, a, a hoodie that says not a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> Which is an immediate red flag. If you have to, <laughs> if you feel like you have to advertise that to the world, Yes. like that's probably the most intimidating I would ever look to a woman is just like some fucking weird nerd. Just like hiding in a shadowy just, corner. Yeah, exactly. Gawking at her from afar. Which you have done, probably. Probably, without even knowing it. Yeah. You know? Sad but sad but true reality of being a man is... Yeah. A lot of us tend to like to look at women. Yeah. I mean, we can't help it, really. Yeah, it's just... It's just it happens. It's, yeah. It's a natural... It's like, you know, magnets. They For attract sure. each other. 100%. Women's bodies, men's eyes. Yeah. They, they, there's an attraction there. Right. It's It's like... It's like you have to... You have to force your eyes to stay in in neutral areas like the face. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Focus on the face, dude. It's like don't let your subconscious wiggle those eyes where they don't go. When I'd be when when I used to go to the gym years ago, I would be like you know on a treadmill or something, just you know for like thirty minutes facing one direction, and like a hot smoking hot chick would walk in, mm-hmm. and it's just like as long as she was within 180 degrees, like my eyes would just kind of drift towards her the whole time. Like for the whole 30 minutes, I'd be like, I, I got to stop fucking looking at this. Like she probably looked over at me and was like, why has this guy been just staring at me? That's, that was, I've that had, must be how every girl feels. I've talked like to guys. Every guy is staring at me right now. I've talked. Because we are. Cause yeah. We're definitely, we definitely are. I've talked to guys in the gym who are like, man, I can't stand it when like there's, there's hot, 
chicks working out. It's so distracting. It's pain I just want I just want to focus on getting my workout done. Yeah, exactly. And they're out there just distracting as hell with their yeah. their booty shorts. Yeah, like, their they're, sports they're, bras and the fucking uh, the, the, the Lululemons. Super, yeah, the, the Lululemon yoga pants. The like, yoga pants. They like just like they're like here are ass cheeks. <laughs> yeah. These are ass cheeks. Yeah. They are well defined. <laughs> now we have the hips. The yeah. fabric is cut in a specific way yep. to to very much put on display Accentuate. all these anatomical features <laughs> that will attract the male gaze. Oh, God. Mel's going to love this pod right now. She's going to love it, dude. She's going to love it so much. But, what it, we're, what but we're is, saying, that not, is that not what they're made for? What we're saying is that this is all the women's fault, all right? The no, it's the, it's the companies that make these clothing <laughs> – and market it to women to make them think that it, that's the thing they should be wearing. Yeah, right. It would it would be interesting to have Mel on here, or just any any girl, be like, "Why do you wear it? Is it because that's the only thing that's available? Is that is it because it's trendy? Is it to? Is it because they feel cute in it? They feel well, attractive? okay. I can I can totally understand. Or like, maybe it's functionally. I know. I know. Good. I, I don't know. I know that. I really have no idea. It's it's nice to feel attractive. Yeah. So I'm sure there's a lot of there are a lot of women out there who like are like, hey, I'm I feel I look good, man. I look good. My workouts are working. You know, they're, yeah, they're, right. they're, my my effort is paying off. Yeah, I want to show off. You know, my progress. Well, it's like when a guy wears like a a tank top to the gym, right? And yeah, he's just like showing his his ripped ass arms and stuff. Yeah, it's probably like that. It's like yeah, yeah, you go, dude. But it's but but nobody's but gonna get no in trouble for looking at his arms. And also, no one's really looking at his arms. Maybe, maybe no one's, some people are. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe some horned up girls are probably checking it out here and there, but it's not the same as like when a hot chick walks in. Ninety nine point nine percent of the guys are just like focused. You know. Yes. If it's a hot guy that walks in, even if it's a gym full of chicks, like I will say, it's not the same. The exception it's is not the same. Is I think uh, there's a certain type of gym bro who will yeah. just. If they see a fellow gym bro like strutting their stuff, they'll be just like, "Damn, bro, you're looking, you're looking really cut. Like, way to go! Yeah, like, that's they, that's who's gonna be checking just, them out. Like, start, it's other dudes. They just start verbally like fist bumping each other. It's just other guys uh, who are checking out this guy's muscles. Yeah. It's like I want to be like him. Yeah, right. He's got from, something I from want a, from a like kind of a wholesome place. Right. It, it's, it's respect, bro. Respect. Yeah. Whereas like two hot chicks, if two hot chicks are at the gym at the same time, mm -hmm. ooh, it's like they're they're probably like mad dogging each other. Or they're probably just like thinking in their heads, like, "She's a fucking bitch." <laughs> like, there, okay, why there, would you wear your hair like that to the gym? Ew! Did she uh, really put makeup on? Someone's trying hard. Like that, that, they have that that negative talk because you know it's a competition, I guess. Um, uh, there's there's a good Bill Burr segment on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I, I'll, I'm sure there is remind, a good Bill Burr segment. Remind me to show you that later. Yeah. But I mean, also with guys, like th the reason why guys will just like latch onto a chick, a hot chick in the gym is because it's like we're, we're programmed to hunt. Women are programmed to just be hunted. You, you think, know what I mean? I think they do their own version of hunting. Or, it's, it's, or maybe it's baiting. It's, it's more, it's rather it's more trapping than hunting. <laughs> it's, it's, it, okay, trapping. Yeah, 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 trapping. So yeah, yeah, but it's trapping. You know, classically you have hunting and trapping. Right. And I guess fishing, catfishing. <laughs> yeah. But, but day fishing. If we're using literal, you know, ways to to get your food, basically. Right. Yeah, exactly. So like a bunch of guys in the gym, they'll be like, okay, how do I approach this girl? How do I talk to her? Dude, bring don't up approach something? women in the gym. No, you shouldn't. You should never do it. But, but, but guys every do. fucking dumbass at the gym is going to. So many of them do anyway. Too many of them. Whereas a girl, at the very most, she might be like, oh, like it'd be like, I don't know, maybe she'll like fix her hair you know girls will fix their hair or whatever so it's like a lure it's a lure like yeah. maybe they'll come to me but they're not they're never gonna approach a guy no yeah. they're never gonna approach a guy i guess the one exception to don't approach a woman in the gym is if you see a woman and you're a gym bro and you see a woman like moving heavy weight then you could probably just go bro out with her hmm. like from in a wholesome way just be like Yo, that was a sick lift. Like, what's your what's your one rep max? Like, et cetera, et cetera. And like, but but see, this is and he keep it like, you know, gym bro level and not and not any kind of like yeah. It, but it it potentially opens the door to that, I guess. But I, I think that's fine as long as it's like a passing thing. Yeah, you're not like let's just start a conversation. 
a full blown conversation. Yeah, it's it's a comment, it's a it's a compliment, and then if they if they want to engage in a conversation, the ball's in their court. But otherwise, it's just like, hey, that that was that was really great. Uh, like trying to talk to, talking to any hot chick, approaching a hot chick is like approaching a celebrity that you know <laughs> that you're a fan of. That's that's the the, 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 ex- the interaction should be exactly the same. You go. Like like a celebrity, you go, hey, uh, hey, uh, fucking, I love your work. You know, honestly, you're, doing, you're would... crushing it. Keep it up, and then you walk away. You get the fuck out. It should be like that with a, with a chick at the gym. If so you're the... gonna say anything to her, be like, hey, that's a, that's fucking, keep it up. Those you're okay. pumping iron like crazy. Awesome, I, and I, then you get the fuck out. I, if you I, linger, I... it becomes weird. If you linger, it becomes weird because now you're kind of expecting them to carry a conversation. It's like they might not, you know, they'll they'll come say something back to you if they're really interested in conversing at the gym. Are we just are we just starting to give pickup artist advice now? Yeah. We're trying That's to... not where I was trying to go with this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but I, I feel I feel like we might have some listeners. Should we just give them terrible advice? <laughs> we probably already are right now. Okay, that's fair. Exactly. Uh, okay, definitely listeners, uh if you are having trouble approaching women at the gym, like Kyle said, uh, you know, it's almost like they're celebrities. So what I want you to try is imagine that it's Danny DeVito and then go make the approach. But but just imagine that you're talking to Danny DeVito. Yeah, put on your Danny DeVito goggles. This is a powerful tool for men <laughs> approaching hot women. Just be like, I loved your work in The Penguin, as, as The Penguin. <laughs> I don't know. How do you even, how do people pick up chicks nowadays? I actually, I was going to say that. I have not, I have not. That's so tough. Uh, you were like, uh, it's it's scary to talk to women. Yeah, I haven't done that in like ever. I, I listened to some no, podcasts. I've done that before. I listened to some podcasts where the guys are like, "Yeah, dude, I haven't had sex in four months. I'm going crazy." I'm like, I haven't talked to a woman in four months. At at some point, mm-hmm. you know, it was just like I'd go a fucking year without actually talking to a chick seriously. I, I can't imagine. I think I had just got used to loneliness in like, yeah. high school. Right. And at the time I was, I was much more charged up to yeah. try to like woo. Yeah. A female. So, so at the time I like, I was trying, but it was still, it was still very challenging. Yeah. Uh, Pre social media and all that. Exactly. Dating and I was just like, yeah, dating apps. And it, it's funny. My parents literally asked me like, how do you meet women? And I was like, I don't. Um, yeah, I have dating apps like right, like nobody has nobody has. I, at least I can speak for myself. I don't have time or inclination to go to a bar yeah. to meet women. Right. I also do have the time, potentially if I if I manage my life better, uh, to go to something like a club for some interest that I might share with people. Sure. And there might be women there that I could talk to and make friends with. Yeah. Um, or interact with or whatever. Yeah, right. Um, but honestly, just dating apps are like dating apps are, are, are uh, there's a double edged sword. They're, they're terrible in a lot of ways, but on the flip side, it's like, there's not a lot of bullshit. There's not a lot of playing games. It's like, yeah, you don't, you're not buying people drinks or trying to like, you know, suss out their, their, they're you know are they just there waiting for a friend or are they single and looking like right if you're on a dating app you're single and looking or you're not single and looking and go <laughs> yeah, fuck yourself sure yeah um Play but the game but yeah like like it's just it's relatively no nonsense at our age there's, I, there's, I would say at our age yeah. I, i'd say at our age we're a lot more straightforward and we are busier generally mm-hmm. and we've already been through the ringer a few times yeah so we just we just want to find a normal fucking person and we don't want to waste time we don't want to waste our time the other person's time so we're just a bit more curt you yeah know? and we, we get to the point yeah. whereas like yeah in your 20s i can't even imagine how terrible that must be when you're like in your early like early 20s it's got to be so yeah. miserable so miserable and and also uh, but I do feel like a con of online dating when you you get older is that there's a lot of weirdos. There's some weirdos out there. Granted, there's weirdos at a younger age too, mm-hmm. but it's almost like 
maybe when you get into your 40s and 50s, like those are the ones that I think maybe I there's think, a part of a reason why I, some of them don't have a partner. I have a suspicion that like a lot more people become weird in their 40s and 50s. Yeah, right, exactly. And then it just sort of normalizes. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I could be I could be totally wrong about that. Possibly. Did you go any, on any weird dates when you were doing online dating? Um I didn't go on a lot. Yeah. Um I went on a few dates several dates with somebody and it was like the first time I had dated in uh, quite some time. Yeah. And it was like, it was interesting because they were, they were, they were attractive. Um, but it was like a little, they were a little bit, uh, awkward, but that's fine. Cause I'm a little bit awkward. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but it was like, when you're when you're on a date like at some point like there should be sort of a spark like you should yeah. click right 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 and that never really happened yeah and i was just like you know i'm just going to i'm just going to let them know that I, I don't think that that that's working like it's not working for me really yeah you know right. i like you're a cool person i don't I, I don't mind spending time with you right it's it's just I would like to spend my time pursuing somebody that I would potentially be in a relationship with. And I don't see that happening. Right. Um, same for you. Okay, cool. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Just fun hanging out. Yep. Exactly. So that, that actually, I, it, it went, it went both ways. Like I did that. Yeah. I was like, I, I'm not feeling it. And they agreed. And it was just like cordial parting ways. Yeah. Um, and then there was somebody who was like, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And a different person? Yeah. Okay, yeah. To me, and then I was like, okay, well, that's cool. You're a cool person. Good luck. Yeah. But they had already blocked me. <laughs> they had already <laughs> blocked you? Yeah. See, that that's that's the insane part of That's one insane thing about the culture is that it's like just on to the next one. Like they just, it's just like opening opening and closing doors. Uh, yeah. Like I was, I was kind of surprised that they just like severed Cut. communications that yeah, way. Yeah, right. It's pretty savage. I, I would at least... I, you know, I, well, maybe it was more for my benefit to write some nice reply back than, than anything else. Mm -hmm. And I was a little butt hurt that, that I didn't get to say my nice, you know, thing. Sure. But whatever. Yeah. I mean, ultimately you, whatever, another one bites the dust, you move on. Yeah. But it's weird to just like cut, like to block someone blocking seems, I guess to me, it seems kind of harsh. Like I'd only block someone if there if there was like some bad blood or if they had wronged me in some way. Mm -hmm. They're like or spamming just, or posting yeah. hate messages or something like that. If I didn't like them, but just to be like, oh, we we tried and it didn't work out. All good. Have a good life. It's like why completely block someone? It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm no I'm no expert on. I mean, the you only sent them how many so. dick pics before they? Exactly. Fourteen minus fourteen. Ah, man, maybe that's why she blocked you. She was like, I ain't getting any dick pics from this guy, dude. <laughs> when is he going to man up? Bro, I when don't, is I he going to man up? Actually, no. I, I was going to say I don't get dick pics, but I you don't have been. get dick pics? I don't understand them. Oh, I was like, I don't get them either. I'm not asking. <laughs> I'm not looking. Do you want one? But then I was like, I no. Right now. <laughs> no, I remember being 18. and Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't stop there. Like so many guys, just even our age, will just... They're into dick pics. They'll send dick pics. I'm just, I just hear stories online and stuff where it's like, obviously more common when you're younger, but there's something about m men and our just need to, for, I don't know what it is. I think, I our think need for uh, approval I to show I off. Yeah. I think there's a whole spectrum in there of motivations, but control probably too. It, yeah. It's like, it's cause it's like, it's, it's a little bit like, you know, just going and flashing people, but like, yeah, it is flashing. Ironically, flashing. ironically, it's sort of like flashing people, but in a way that's much more traceable and leaves yeah, evidence. Exactly. Right. You're safer. <laughs> you're safer. If you just run out and do a mall and just like flash someone and run. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise you're just like, here, let me send you evidence of my sexual malfeasance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless you want it to get discovered, you know, like Drake. There's a video of him just like jerking his dick. And oh, it, that was oh, like yeah. circulating like a month or two ago. And he like, 
it, he leaked that himself or something. I think somebody else leaked it, but he instantly took credit. He, he for just it. leaned into it he, and he was like, "Yep, that's like, that's my hog." Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, it was it was a ma- it was a, he has a piece. He's got a sizable piece on. Okay, him. so and so the, so the internet no shame was like, the game. "Yeah, the internet was just like, hell yeah, dude." And he's like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do get, I do, you know, when you go through the, the body scanner yeah. uh, thing at the airport? Oh yeah. I do get my pat, my crotch padded down a good bit. Oh really? Now it could be because I'm, I'm still working on figuring this out. Yeah. But you take your belt off and of course your pat, your pants start to sag. Sure. And, and I've been told multiple times, oh, pull your, pull your pants up before you go in there. Right. And it's the times that I haven't done that correctly that they tend to, you know, go after for go in for a grope session. Ah, uh, because you because you look you're, you're a bit more gangsta looking. No, like no, like, because of the way the scanner works. Oh, like like the body scanner, that, right. And TSA. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you if your pants are sagging, uh huh. Then I guess I guess if your junk is just dangling fully, yeah, then it's more likely to set off a, a thing like, oh, there's something maybe hidden in that area. Oh, so they'll see it, so they, they think it's a foreign object or something, right? Versus pants. if it's if your pants are pulled up and everything is kind of like ni- ni- nice and tucked in and compact. I see, I see. Then it comes through as as gotcha. clean scan. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're like, what the hell is that banana doing in his pocket? <laughs> but the, where I was going with that is. Yeah. Uh, there's this guy, I want to say his name is Jonah Falcon. I could be wrong, but he's got like the world's biggest stick and he constantly uh-huh. ha- like the TSA is just, just All always over his dick. on it on his dick, dude. Like every time he should, because it's legitimately enormous. He should even at rest. There should be like a big dick pre-check, you know, for TSA. <laughs> it's like if you have a huge dick, you should be able to just get pre pre-approved. Like like TSA clear check. Yeah yeah like yeah like, uh, like like global like entry. Have a have a stamp on your on your thing that says large unit. Yeah right yeah, exactly <laughs> Over, oversized unit. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so you don't have to do the pat down every time. They just like oh yeah. you're just a big dick you know the line of big dicks just right on through sir. Enjoy your big dick flight. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. <laughs> Enjoy your flight with your massive cock sir. Uh I I would hate to have country uh, salutes uh, you over an oversized unit like that yeah dude it'd be so inconvenient Plus, it's like it's, hitting your funny bone you're just like your knees just popping out all the time yeah that'd be crazy plus they're like if i was if i was a woman i would probably be scared of something that's massively outside of the norm like yeah that. like yeah like for sure that could do some damage right and then it's like i, I mean at some point it's just like it's not even practical because like you try to have sex if your dick's like three feet long you're only, only like two percent of your dicks being, you know, your nerve endings. Most of your nerve endings are being ignored. You need a fucking trash can as your flashlight, dude. How the hell are you even gonna get off? Uh, life uh, finds a way. You gotta jerk off with your hands and your feet. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? I don't think there's anybody with three foot uh, <laughs> penises. All right, there. maybe not three feet, but but that would be that would be quite notable. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that would be a curse. Would it be would be. Curse. It would be legitimately. I Damn. need. A, I need a. I need to get a penis and small surgery. What's the biggest you could go? What's the biggest you would go if it was like wave a magic wand? Boom! This is your dick size. Max. Mm. What's your? What's your? What's your max? Tall boy. Tall boy. <laughs> Ooh, I like that because it's it's it, you're dealing with girth too. You're, it's it's a note about girth, not just not just length. Yes. Which I think girth is equally important, if not more so. Yes, this this podcast has taken a very a, sudden turn. No, dude, this is a hot cast. <laughs> We're on a got, hot cast. It got right spicy. Now. It's gotten spicy. Um, yeah, that's a dude. Tall boy is good. A liquid death be sick. Yeah, but uh, that's that's even that is like I would I would want to pull back from that a little bit. Liquid, you know, life support. Liquid life support. We'll go with that. <laughs> Not full death. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I would I would legitimately it. not want to go past that. If if I if I had a magic wand that was just like yeah. in large ray. Yeah, right. Yeah, no. I I would definitely Obviously I would just try to try to see like how far I could push it and then be like, okay, <laughs> yeah. gotta undo like yeah. control Z. Right, control exactly. Z. Yeah, that's okay, now we're back to, to something workable. Yeah, that's that's the first question I'd second question <laughs> I'd the first question I'd ask the genie 
He's like, can I make my dick any size? And he's like, yes. It's like, can I control Z it if I need to? <laughs> you know? Yes. Because genius are tricky. They are. They are known for that. They're little tricksters. They're like little Lokis, you know? Little sly ones. <laughs> There's a, Trying to trip you up, dude. There's a really good joke about um, some guy who... Uh, he asks uh, a genie for uh, a time. Uh, I can't remember it, but it was good. And it involves genies and penises and uh, size. Nice. And like, like genies always like try to get you on like wordplay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I want a, want a giant dick. And then fucking, I don't know, Martin Screlly walks through the door. Like, fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who that is. That's the guy who like jacked up the pharmaceutical. Um, oh, I I, I know who that time. is. I do know who that is. Yeah, yeah. Screw that guy. Big dick, dude. You you asked for it. Got your wish. <laughs> Careful what it's, you wish for. It you have to be you have to be very specific about how. At each word is defined and interpreted. Yeah, when you're dealing with a yeah, like, dude, a genie or a gin. You need a genie. So first. First wish should be get me a good lawyer. <laughs> get, Draft me up a the lawyer contract who, for the other wishes. Who specializes in, in genie, genie based genie contract? Yeah. <laughs> you definitely need a good attorney if you're gonna wish wish some shit from a genie. Yes, the first wish should be like I need a I need a, a rule book. Yeah, and, and, a, and a lawyer to help me. Right, with the rule book. that's just like genie tax. You know, you you, you got to burn a wish on that. It's, it's genie insurance. Insurance. Yep. Got to have genie insurance. I sure would. Uh, I sure would, would would like to get a situation where I had to get genie insurance. That would be fun. That would be sick. It'd be scary. Yeah. Right. Like you do untold damage to Dude, yourself or the world. I would. I would wait on those uh, those last two wishes for a long time. You know what I mean? I'd sit on it. Like, but I, it would take me so long to really work up the courage to actually make a wish. I I might I'd go over I it a million go, times in my head. I might go change my mind a thousand times. My second wish is I wish to continue living living normally, um, but not age, so that I can have time to consider what I want for my third wish. Ooh, which is basically just like is that immortality then? Yeah, basically until you make a third wish. Ah, uh, because then you could. But then wouldn't your third wish have to be, if you wanted to die eventually, yeah. that would have to be your third wish? Probably, yeah. Hmm. What if you just wish Because you don't, you don't want to be permanently immortal with, an, with no way to undo it. Can you, can you wish for, can a single wish be spent on uh, make me immortal with a kill switch? Is that an option? Depends on if you get the, 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 the cool bundle team. option. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I want... I want this, but I want these features. Yeah, right. Instead of just, I want this single thing. If it's a Chinese genie, you get more for your money, I'm sure. Yeah, they're probably good they're value. Probably more adaptable. Definitely. Do you know? It, it, do you know exactly what wishes you would make? I want a pony. Yeah. I want Kyle's socks to never have holes in them. It's very generous. And I don't want a pony anymore. <laughs> They cost so damn much, and they are mean. They bite you and shit. Why well, wish for a pony in the first place? Because I'm a fool. <laughs> You're trying to stay humble, you know. You gotta you, the humility. I appreciate the humility within those wishes. You still have to acknowledge that uh, that you that you're just human. You're a dumb human, even though you have all the power of of a genie's wishes. Yeah. No, I I probably wouldn't. I would probably try to be clever with them. Yeah. And then I'd probably get screwed over. Right. Yeah. So then my last wish would be just undo everything. Yeah, right. Put it all back to normal. It is nice having that last wish to just undo everything. Yeah. Unless <sighs> unless you unless you accidentally burn it. Yeah. By being like, oh, I wish I wasn't so thirsty. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like, Oh, I got you, fam. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're like, great. Now I have to pee like every five minutes for the next week because I got so ultra hydrated. <laughs> he just gives you a liquid death penis. <laughs> you're like, damn it. This isn't exactly what I wanted. Actually, that might be a good wish. Yeah. Is I wish that uh, my urine was just pure water. 
Ooh. Like, like. You that know, way you're just like renewable energy. Like if I was in the desert, I could just, Drink I could just own pee constantly. recycle endlessly. Yeah. Not just pure water, water with the appropriate trace minerals. So it's like a, a so bat- I don't get an electrolyte. Like imbalance. a battery that can charge itself. Yes. Like perpetual, perpetual, perpetual energy. energy machine. That'd be cool. See, that's a really good one. Plus, if I, you know, if I have an oopsie and I, you know, pee in my bed or something, it's just water. Yeah. There's no, there's no like odor or stain or whatever. It's just like I can see so many benefits from just a simple, true, simple, basic, basic ass wish of saying, I wish that my urine was not urine. It was just like pure water. Then you could jizz and piss in a girl's mouth and be healthy. And we've come full circle, folks. (laughs) <laughs> all right that's enough for this one we didn't even talk about the things you're going to talk about but you had i know it's not I, i'm not complaining i'm not this is your phone by the way <laughs> <laughs> oh you son of a bitch it was there i looked at it 30 times throughout the episode and i was not once did i think that's not my phone i just kept thinking that's my phone mm-hmm. but we have the same phone now yes the only difference is the case which I didn't uh, pick mine, up on that. Mine got, I went chonky on it. You did. That's a uh, better protection than mine, but that'll do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much. Join the discord. We're going to try to be more active on there. I know we've been a little, a little dark, um, but uh, we, we would like to fire that up more. So looking forward to seeing you guys there. We'll be back in a week and we love you. Much love. Don't talk to girls at the gym. Don't do it. And also don't be a creep. Jiggle, jiggle the door before you open it when, on public bathrooms. Yes. Just like warning jiggle. Yeah, right. Because uh, then they can yell at you. That's all we got. That's Peace. It. Bye. Bye.